Jason Collins, and I'm a park ranger down at the George Rogers Clark National Historical Park in Vincennes, Indiana. I graduated from ISU in the spring of 2013 with my uh, master's in history. My bachelor's degree actually comes from the University of Akron back in Akron, Ohio in uh, 2001. Well, there were uh, several times where I kind of began to wonder if I should even be here. You know, uh, uh, sitting in, in seminars, uh, 600 level classes, with a bunch of other people who have, you know, kind of majored in history, worked with history, you know, as, as their main course of study. But for me, I had already gotten my career first and was, was kind of coming back to history as my uh, master's field of study. And those first couple nights sitting in that seminar kind of felt like I was way over my head. But uh, I'll tell you the uh, most memorable thing for me was the way that the professors really kind of guided me and, and helped me and really kind of showed how I can use my experience as a park ranger and in my studies and vice versa too. Actually, History is a big part of, of what we do as an, as an interpretive park ranger. People always get confused when I use the word interpretation, because when you think of an interpreter, you think of somebody translating a, a language to English or, or from Spanish to English, something like that. But in a way, that's what we as park rangers do, is we take all of the history, the primary sources, secondary sources, and try to consolidate it into more of a story. And what I've always kind of struggled with is the people who say, you know, I don't like history. You know, it's a bunch of names and dates and facts you gotta memorize for this test. But for me, the interest in history comes from the word, because it actually has story in the word. You know, for me, that's what history is. And really kind of seeing that come through in my course of study, and uh, one of the things we, we learn very early on in, in seminar classes is, history is very much a so what line of, of thinking. You know, why should I care about this? And I had been a park ranger for a few years before coming here. But that but the the two things never clicked. You know, thinking, you know, why am I doing what I'm doing as park ranger? To help people care about this national park that I'm working at. Why am I doing this as a historian? To get people to care about the subject matter or the thing that we're talking about. So really kind of crystallizing that so what, that why should I care. In fact, the uh, so what is actually almost a direct quote from Dr. Cheerhart uh, saying that, you know, you got to get people to care about your subject matter, to get people to care about your part, to really help them see just how important it is. Well, for me, especially as it ties into uh, career fields, really with the Park Service, but also it can come with just about anything, it's just to be patient. Because it's, you know, you, when you, you first get out, you know, you're ready to jump into that career field you've chosen. Like if, if you're going into teaching or museum curation, whatever it's going to be. And unfortunately, it doesn't always happen as quickly as we would like it to, to uh, take place, you know, to jump into that, that career path. Like for me, I had to do a couple of seasons, you know, doing temporary work with the Park Service to really get to that point where I was ready to kind of jump into it, you know, full time as a career. And a, and a lot of times you'll have to take a position somewhere just to get your, your foot in the door. So even if it's not what you studied for, but maybe it's the place you want to be, you know, don't be afraid to take that, that lower level position because people are gonna notice you, people are gonna see your work ethic, they're gonna see what you're capable of. And then when that, that job you really, really want pops open, you know, you'll be ready, willing, and able to uh, uh, take it. And then also for me personally, it was being mobile. You know, uh, don't be tied to Vigo County, to Terre Haute, you know, be willing to move around. I grew up in, in Northeast Ohio, I lived in eastern Pennsylvania, I lived in central Illinois, and now I ended up in Vincennes. You know, uh, career journeys, especially in, in history fields, are, they're gonna take you places that you may have never dreamed you would have ended up. So don't be afraid to kind of, you know, take a plunge, you know, go somewhere you may never have thought of, because you never know where that, that career track is gonna take you. And just really 
enjoy the ride because you know it's gonna your college experience is gonna go so fast and then you're gonna try to jump right into that that career force that a, a nine to five job you know enjoy the ride here you know soak in all the knowledge that you can the uh, professors in the history department are fantastic when it comes to that you know just enjoy this and then you know just kind of take each step in your your career as it comes I know with uh, some especially with the history coursework there is an opportunity to do internships and my advice has always been take the opportunity to do an internship to get practical experience while you're still in school because it was really my internships in college that allowed me to kind of get on a more quicker track towards permanent uh, job status so even if it's not a required part of your coursework, take advantage of internships. Like I did an internship at a, a, a national park, which really crystallized for me what I wanted to do. And, if, and also never be afraid to uh, volunteer at a history museum, a, a state park, county park, a local historical society. You know, all those places are always looking for volunteers. And then when, when a job does come open, you've got more things you've, you've been able to put on your resume, things that'll, that'll help you stand out from other folks.